The New York Times has been reporting on the activities in Manhattan courtrooms for 172 years. And so we will defer to the New York Times tonight about where things stand in Alvin Bragg's grand jury investigation of Donald Trump's hush money payoff to the actress Stephanie Clifford, also known as Stormy Daniels. The Times reports on Thursday afternoon, the prosecutors from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office leading the investigation were seen entering and leaving the building where the grand jury meets, suggesting that some activity may have taken place. None of the witnesses relevant to the hush money matter have been seen going into the building where the jury sits on Thursdays. Because the grand jury does not meet on Fridays, any indictment would not come until next week. Of course, Donald Trump famously predicted that he would be arrested by the Manhattan District Attorney two days ago, and he asked 74 million Trump voters in America to come to Manhattan to protest that arrest. And I said at the time, there was no reason at all to be worried about the possibility of Manhattan being filled with a violent Trump mob, such as we saw on January 6th at the Capitol. The Daily Show's Jordan Klepper did his duty on Tuesday and spoke to every Trump protester who showed up outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Why are you here? Because I'm here to support Trump, because they want that dino. So Trump went on his own social media, yes. and he called out people, his supporters, to come out here and support him. And right now, that's just you. I'm here, I'm here. Heavy as a crowd. I don't need you here to come outside. No, I got this. OK. Every day of Donald Trump's life, life is worse than the day before because he knows he is one day closer to financial ruin in all of the lawsuits he is facing involving the January 6th attack on the Capitol and because he knows that every day he is one day closer to becoming criminal defendant Trump. Now that Donald Trump knows for sure that the protesters are not coming to Manhattan, he is lashing out ever more viciously at District Attorney Alvin Bragg, who is busy ignoring Donald Trump. Today, Alvin Bragg announced the sentencing of Trevor William Forrest, also known as Sheikh Abdullah Faisal. Alvin Bragg got a sentence of 18 years for that 59-year-old criminal defendant for, quote, recruiting, soliciting, and inspiring students and followers to pledge allegiance to, travel to, join, and commit acts of terrorism on behalf of the Islamic State, also known as ISIS. That's what Alvin Bragg was doing today, while not a single Republican in Washington was doing a single thing to stop terrorism of any kind in this country. While Donald Trump was posting his hatred of Alvin Bragg on social media today, Alvin Bragg was putting an ISIS recruiter in New York State Prison for 18 years. In his statement about that sentencing, Alvin Bragg said, tragically, Manhattan will continue to be a target for those who want to harm this country. That sentence, of course, applies to Donald Trump. Terror is Donald Trump's tactic. He sent a violent mob to the, to the Capitol on January 6th to strike terror into the hearts and minds of members of Congress so that they would vote to keep Donald Trump in the presidency. That was Trump terrorism on January 6th. Donald Trump terrified people around the country this weekend on Saturday when he predicted he would be arrested in New York on Tuesday and then told his followers to protest and to take our country back. Millions of people were terrified but what they, by what they believed that meant. They meant they thought that might mean Donald Trump summoning his violent mob of attackers to Manhattan the way he did on January 6th. That particular Trump terror tactic did not work on me, but I know it worked on a lot of people. And I spent days telling people privately and publicly on this program that I didn't think that that was going to happen. I didn't think there was any reason to be terrified about what we would see in Manhattan this week. But terrorism works sometimes by acts of violence and sometimes simply by the threats. And Donald Trump's threats were enough 
for a judge in New York today in E. Jean Carroll's lawsuit against Donald Trump for her claim that she was raped by Donald Trump. The Trump judge, the judge in that case, ordered the jury in the upcoming trial of the E. Jean Carroll lawsuit to be anonymous. The jurors' names will not be publicly revealed in any way in the courtroom or to the news media, as is standard in over 99% of trials. The judge ordered an anonymous jury in a civil lawsuit, in effect, because Donald Trump is a terrorist. The judge noted, quote, some individuals charged with crimes in connection with the January 6, 2020 events at the Capitol, at the United States Capitol, have argued that their actions were attributable to what the individuals perceived, rightly or wrongly, as incitement by Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump's quite recent reaction to what he perceived as an imminent threat of indictment by a grand jury sitting virtually next door to this court was to encourage protest and to urge people to take our country back. And it bears mention that Mr. Trump repeatedly has attacked courts, judges, various law enforcement officials and other public officials, and even individual jurors in other matters. The judge noted how rare it is for juries to have to remain anonymous. Quote, anonymous juries historically have been ordered in criminal cases in which the risk of tampering with or violent retaliation against jurors by criminal defendants or their confederates was palpable, most often in terrorism and organized crime cases. So this judge is treating a civil lawsuit against Donald Trump in a Manhattan courtroom the way they would treat terrorism and organized crime cases because the defendant is Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump's terrorism often targets individuals. And this week, it's Alvin Bragg's turn. Today, Donald Trump called a Alvin Bragg words that he has called other people his repeated use of these words don't make them any less sickening. Animal. Human scum. Here is someone Donald Trump has never referred to as an animal. He is the white supremacist who was convicted of murder for speeding his car into a group of people in Charlottesville, Virginia, where, who were protesting white supremacists and Nazis. He is serving life in prison now for the murder of Heather Heyer. Donald Trump has never called him an animal. Here's someone else Donald Trump has never called an animal. He kept his knee on George Floyd's neck for nine and a half minutes and murdered him while George Floyd was calling out to his mother, while George Floyd knew he was dying. Donald Trump never called him an animal. Donald Trump has never called Kim Jong-un an animal. Kim Jong-un is suspected of murdering his brother, has definitely murdered countless officials in his government, and has starved to death thousands and thousands of people in North Korea. And Donald, Donald Trump not only does not call him an animal, Donald Trump says he fell in love with him. And those people are not animals. They are human beings. They are human beings who have committed murder, but they remain human beings in the eyes of the law and according to the Christian teachings that Donald Trump and his supporters claim that they follow religiously. But they don't. Donald Trump called Al Alvin Bragg something else today. He said District Attorney Alvin Bragg is the Gestapo but worse. The Gestapo were Adolf Hitler's Nazi secret police who murdered people, rounded up people, sent them off to death camps to be gassed by the millions in Nazi Germany. Donald Trump not only says that the district attorney of Manhattan is the Gestapo, but to make very clear what he means, he then says, but worse. He doesn't say the district attorney is the, the, the Gestapo, but not as bad as the guys who sent six million Jews to their deaths in Nazi death camps. Donald Trump says the Manhattan district attorney 
is worse, worse than the people who executed the Holocaust. Donald Trump insults the memory of every victim of the Holocaust in that statement. Donald Trump insults every person in the world who has the decency to vow to never forget what happened in the Holocaust. Donald Trump says the Manhattan District Attorney is worse than the Nazis who committed the worst crime against humanity of the 20th century. There is a rule of public discourse in America and in politics that you must never compare anyone to Hitler, and you must never compare anything in our politics to Nazism, but Donald Trump did that today. Donald Trump uses Nazi tactics every day. Donald Trump says that some of the Nazis marching in Charlottesville were good people. But nothing Donald Trump does and nothing white supremacists like the Dominion lawsuit proven liar Tucker Carlson at Fox say are as bad as what the Nazis did in World War II. They will never be that bad. But if there is anyone in American public life to be compared in any way to Nazis, it is not this district attorney of Manhattan or any district attorney of Manhattan in history. It is the terrorist who a judge today said jurors have to be protected from. It is the terrorist who calls people animals and human scum, which is pure Nazi language for human beings. It is the terrorist who calls the Manhattan District Attorney the Gestapo, but worse. It is the terrorist who every day now steps closer to becoming criminal defendant Trump.